All right. Hello, Algebra 1 students. Welcome to Lesson 5 of Topic 1. We are going to solve inequalities in one variable. So solving an inequality is very similar to solving an equation. There is one huge difference between inequalities and equations, and that is direction, right? If I, if I mentally think of a number line in my head, right, inequalities have greater than or less than symbols. So if I'm greater than, that means I'm going to the right on a number line. And if I'm less than, that means I'm going to the left on a number line. So keep that in mind. Direction, right? Direction. Inequalities have direction. And again, on a number line. Uh, so greater than means this way. Less than means this way. Perfect. All right, so and that's a zero in the middle because usually you put the negative numbers over here, the positive numbers over here, zero in the middle. Okay. All right, good. Okay, so let's tackle the first problem here. All right, so solve this inequality. Uh, negative 4, parenthesis, 3x minus 1 plus 6x is greater than or equal to 16. And we're going to graph the solution. So again, this symbol right here, uh, again, the Pac-Man, the alligator, whatever you want to say, eats the bigger thing. So if its mouth is pointing to the left, if the mouth is pointing to the left, that means the mouth is the bigger thing, so it's greater than. So this is going to be pronounced as greater than, and then the line underneath means or equal to, or equal to. Okay, so keep that in mind as we go through, greater than or equal to. So what I'm going to do here is just like a normal equation, I'm going to distribute the negative 4 to the parentheses. So negative 4 times 3x is negative 12x. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. The plus 6x comes down, the inequality symbol comes down, and the 16 comes down. Uh, now on the left-hand side of this inequality, I do have like terms of 12, negative 12x and 6x. On the right-hand side, I have no like terms. So we're going to add or combine negative 12 and positive 6 to get negative 6x. The plus 4 comes down, the greater than or equal to comes down, and the 16 comes down. And now what is happening to this x? It's being multiplied by negative 6. It's being added to 4. So undo that by subtracting 4. So we get negative 6x is greater than or equal to 12. And now we're going to divide by negative 6. But now hold your horses. Hold your horses. Because what is happening here is we are dividing by a negative number. Right now, this is saying that negative 6x is greater than or equal to 12. When we divide by a negative number, we are going to change the sign of this 12. What this means is, is that mental number line is going to flip around in our head. And what that means is if the number line flips around, this inequality symbol needs to flip around too. So there's a rule with inequalities. If you multiply or divide by a negative number, and this is like across the equal sign, like how we're doing it here, by a negative number. Reverse the inequality symbol. Reverse the inequality symbol. So less than becomes greater than, greater than becomes less than. This is not an option. This is what you have to do. So by using this logic, right, the x just comes down. We have to reverse this. So now it becomes a less than or equal to, right? So now this is a less than or equal to. And now 12 divided by negative 6 is now negative 2. And again, you've changed the sign of the like, again, it has direction, right? Greater than, less than. But what you do when you divide or multiply by negative is that you're changing, you're changing the sign of both sides of your inequality. So that symbol in the middle has to change as well. And this is the final answer. X is less than or equal to negative two. Notice the variable goes first. I suggest that that always be the case. Now, when you're going to graph this, right, we use a number line. And there are many ways to do this, right? non-negotiable is that you draw a number line and you put the number right in the middle, negative two. Now, uh, 
You can do it on the number line itself. I like to do it above the number line so I can see. So when you see equal to, you're going to use what's called a solid dot. So because there's an equal to, you're using a solid dot. So this is solid because of the equal to underneath the, the less than. And now less than means left. So you are everything less than negative 2. That would be to the left. So we're going to draw a line or an arrow ray going off to the left. And this is how you graph the solution, just like that. Now, some people do it like this. They have, you know, going off the number line. And again, like I said, some people do it right on the number line. I just think that's hard to see. I think that's very, very, very clear. All right, cool. Let's go to our next one. Uh, solve the inequality with variables on both sides. All right, here we go. So we're going to solve 3.5x plus 19 is greater than or equal to 1.5x minus 7. And we're going to graph the solution. So again, we have the left-hand side, no like terms. Right-hand side, no like terms. So now let's combine the x's. I could either move the 3.5x by subtracting it or 1.5x by subtracting it. Let's subtract the smaller one. Again, to avoid negatives in front of the x so that we don't have to use that inequality rule of the divided by negative. Okay, so 3.5 minus 1.5 is 2x. Bring down the plus 19. Bring down the greater than or equal to and bring down the negative 7. All right, uh, let's subtract the 19 on both sides. Uh, 2x greater than or equal to negative 7, negative 19 is negative 26. And let's divide by 2. Now, we are dividing by a positive, right? So I'm going to make a note here. We are dividing by a positive. So when you divide by a positive, do not reverse. No reverse. A lot of people get reverse happy, right? They think if we, do, if we multiply or divide, you always have to reverse. No. No. You don't reverse in this case. No reverse. So uh, the x comes down. The greater than, or equal to, greater than or equal to sign stays. And negative 26 divided by 2 is negative 13. There's your inequality. Again, x is first. Uh, here's my number line. Put 13. Put negative 13 in the middle. Again, it's equal to, so we're going to put a solid dot. But this time we're greater than, so we're going off to the right. There we go. There's your solution graph. All right, so video one's going to stop there. Uh, video two is coming.